Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Ride. The facts. First, Rob has a really good friend named Double T who he met at the youth center. Double T is a poet. He's also homeless. And now Double T is missing. All his stuff was wrecked, and he may be in danger. So, Rob and the team have been trying to find Double T. They've been looking for clues to where he might be in the poems he left behind in his poetry notebook. When they read one poem, they figured out that Double T was a soldier who fought in the Vietnam War. From another poem, they know he wants to lay a flame near sacred names and find a light at the long tunnel's end. But the team doesn't know what these clues mean. And Rob met someone else who's searching for Double T, his daughter, Lisa. Now, here's some new facts from the last show. First, Rob thinks he and Lisa should look for Double T alone, without the team's help. Well, Lisa's having a real hard time. It's real personal. And it's like it's just between us, because Double T means something to us, you know? So I think I better just help Lisa by myself. So Rob and Lisa went back to the homeless shelter where Double T sometimes stays and wrote a letter to Double T's friend, Hush, asking him to help them find Double T. And... The team decides to search on their own for Double T. Let's go and try and solve that case. They figured out that the flame he wants to lay near sacred names could mean incense. So we went to the guy that sells incense, and he said that Double T bought some a couple of days ago. So he asked which way he went, and he pointed to the subway. Great detective work. Then, Ghost Rider sent the team a message. If Ghost Rider's reading a letter that Double T's writing, then Ghost Rider must be wherever Double T is. The team isn't giving up. And Grandma Jenkins hasn't given up either. She's got her own problems to solve with Winston, a dog down the block. Can the team put all the clues together and find Double T? Get a pencil and your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Hey, look over here. A South Ferry. Now, if I were Double T, I'd be able to see all the sights from here. Ellis Island, Statue of Liberty, Staten Island, and New Jersey. Yeah, and the subway tunnel goes right there. Hey, it's even the tunnel's end. Because South Ferry's the last stop on the subway. Yeah. Double T must be looking through the telescopes at South Ferry. If we leave this second, we're sure to find him. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you so guys stay here. I'm going to ask my grandmother if I can go. Grandma? I'll be back. I'm on my way to the beauty parlor. Okay, um, listen, can I go to South Ferry? All my friends are going. I guess it's all right. Just make sure you're home in time for lunch. You got chores to do. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hey, guys! Come downstairs so you can go home! <sighs> Sorry. Good morning. So did Hush answer our note? It's our note. Guess this means no. I have to talk to him. I, d I know that he can help us. Look, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to wake you up, really, but we really need to speak to Hush. Has he left yet? He's still inside, and you can't go in. Maybe we didn't let him know why we care. We should explain who we are and why we want to help Double T. Hey, could I have a piece of paper, please? But what are you doing? We're going to write another note. Why? It didn't work the first time. So we write a better note. Double T says the good thing about writing is you can work on it until you get it right. Maybe if he knew that you were Double T's daughter. If it was you asking. All right, let's try. Do you want to tell him that you're Double T's friend, too? If it'll help. Say, his friend who writes poems and stories. Dear Hush, maybe we should call him Mr. Hush, you know, to show respect. Do 
Dear Mr. Hush, I am Double T's daughter. My name is Lisa. Rob is his friend who writes poems and stories. Let him know why we need to find uh, Double T. I think he's in danger. We have to find him. We are afraid he's in danger. If Hush cares about my dad at all, he should help us now. Yes, yeah, say that. Then say, help us find him. Please. Dear Mr. Hush, I am Double T's daughter. My name is Lisa. Rob is his friend who writes poems and stories. We have to find him. We're afraid he's in danger. If you care at all about Double T, help us find him, please. Sincerely. Sincerely, Lisa and Rob. Good. Now the really hard part. Getting Sleeping Beauty over there to help us again. I don't know where Double T is. Okay, but could you just wait a minute, please? Will you help us? We have some... Maybe the clues. Anything you could tell us about Double T? Any idea at all where he might be? Please, I have to find my father. Look, I don't know squat about Double T. used to sleep in a subway tunnel that wasn't used anymore. It was our secret place. That's all I know. A tunnel? He wrote about a tunnel in one of his poems. Tell us about the tunnel. Well, it's closed now. The city started some construction, and our entrance was closed up. We found a new entrance about a week ago, but I never got a chance to tell him about it. He might have found it on his own. Please, w where is it? Old Brooklyn Dodgers Stadium. Dodgers played baseball in Brooklyn? Long time ago. Stadium isn't there anymore. It's torn down. Now some big apartment's there. I don't know the name. It'll always be Dodger Stadium to me. So, where is the entrance to this tunnel? Near the corner by a small plaque they put up telling about the old stadium. Okay, we go into this entrance. When you get inside the tunnel, go back about a hundred yards till you come to a sign that says S32. S32, S32, S32. Now go through a crawl space. That'll get you there. Where? The open space. That's where we slept. Be careful. I can't believe my dad slept in there. Oh, that guard and those... Just sad posters. The guard's all right. I mean, he's there to protect the guy's stuff. And he's more there to keep us out than the men in. I guess. So where is this old Dodger Stadium, anyway? We can look it up. I have a book on New York history at home. Great. <laughs> Let's go. I don't think we should go down there, Lisa. I mean, a uh, closed-down subway tunnel might be dangerous. Not this one. Hush said it's an empty space. There are no tracks or anything. We don't know that. 
I mean, maybe we should call the police to ask for help or social worker or something. Look, Rob, it took two days to find help in the shelter. The VA could not do anything at all. I have to leave tomorrow. There's no time. But Lisa, This I... is my father. You don't have to come. Can't let you go alone. Well, you can't stop me. Now let's go get the flashlights. We'll find this tunnel. If it looks bad, we can always turn back. Okay. Okay, we'll go. But the minute it looks dangerous, we're getting out of there. Lisa, that ghost writer sent us before. The one Double T didn't finish. He was probably here when he was writing it. Which means he's probably still in the area. Yeah, but where? Lisa, well, we really better turn back now. No! Lisa. We must almost be there. city in my eyes and it sounds in my ears i'm gonna mix a special song to drive away all your fears wow that poem is like a song mm -hmm. yeah in a way because you know songs and poems well, they both come from deep inside and they both can deal with the stuff that's inside and the stuff that's all around us i know what you mean all right, music. Well then, Miss Music Person, free of charge. I guess I'm not that hungry after all. We know Double T was here, but he left. Maybe we can get an idea about where he went from his poem. Remember that part from uh, To the Light? Lay a flame near sacred names. Yeah, what about it? That's the place we should find. I still think sacred means a church. Or it can mean a cemetery. The names of the dead are sacred to some people. We've already narrowed it down to somewhere around here in South Valley, so we should look there. Cemeteries are creepy. I'll go to the church. I'll go with Tina. I don't mind the cemetery. I'll go with you. Me too. Listen, find Double T, send a brownie message. If not, we'll all meet back here at 12 noon. Hello? Are you Mr. Braithwaite? Hallelujah! Oh, 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 this is the last straw. 
a snarling dog that eats my salad, some half-crazed lunatic that tries to baptize me all over again. You stay on your side of the street. Don't you expect to see another scrap of mail until you install a mailbox on the outside of the gate. Oh! Well, Winston, it looks like we've got some apologizing to do. You know, when I saw those candles and incense burning, I thought Double T would be there for sure. So did I. But Alicia would write about the sacred names. They were all over the place. Oh, thanks. Maybe Lenny, Jamal, and Gabby had better look at the cemetery. I hope so. You were afraid to go to the cemetery, weren't you? I didn't say that. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have to worry about anything. I would have been right next to you. Getting in here. I got you into this, Rob. I could have said no. Hey, I came because I wanted to. Maybe there's a way. What are you looking for? My pen. It's lost. You are worried about a pen? It's a very important pen. It could help us get out of here. Oh, great. I am trapped in a tunnel with a boy who believes in super pens. Does it have a cape? Can it fly? Excuse me. What do you want? I am very sorry. I can see that. You see, I just moved in the house across the street, and I'm trying to grow some grass in the yard. Mm, you decided to grow some grass on the top of my head, is that right, huh? Please, I'm trying to explain. I don't have a phone yet, you see. So while I was watching the yard, I received this telegram from my daughter in Trinidad. I was reading it at the same time. I got so excited <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Well, speaking of paying, I was on my way home from the beauty parlor, and you just ruined a $20 hairdo. I'll gladly pay for the damage. I meant no harm. You see, the telegram says my daughter in Trinidad had twin babies last night. I am a grandfather for the first time! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you just found out. Yes. Oh. So I will... Gladly pay oh. for the hair. <laughs> well, let's start all over again, huh, neighbor? I'm Cecilia Jenkins. Pleased to meet you. Well, I am Bertrand Bratred, and I am happy to meet you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, well. Well, well. Happy to meet you, too, Winston. <laughs> um... How would you like to use my phone to call your daughter and find out how your new grandbabies are doing? Oh, thank you. Why don't you come with me, and I'll show you come how you can use the phone privately. Look. There's an opening up there. Maybe we can climb up to it. Those beams won't hold us. All we need to do is get hurt, too. Well, what are you doing? You gonna make a staircase out of those? I'm going to spell out the word help. I'm trying to send out rescue vibes, okay? Oh, is that how you summon Super Pen and make him fly to our rescue? I can stay and help you guys search for Double T, but I promised my grandmother I'd be home in time for lunch. Yeah, I guess we all struck out. Everyone buried in that cemetery was old enough to be a pilgrim. Yeah, Double T couldn't have known any of them. 
Jamal! Get washed up for lunch right now, sugar. We're having company. Um, you guys want to come over to my place? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> um, I guess I'll catch up with you guys later on. Hey, we're going to find Double T. Yeah. Bye, sugar. <laughs> oh, boy. See you later, man. Company? No, I'm never gonna get this up there. Especially working by myself. I don't think we have enough room. Well, do you have any better ideas? Maybe we can ask Fred Flintstone to bring over one of his dinosaurs from the quarry with a pile of boulders to help. <laughs> oh, ha ha. Yeah, I owed you that for those super pen crafts. Well, you know, I believe in the Flintstones before I believed in rescue vibes and the... Super pens. Super yeah, pen. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, we need to find some more clues before we go back to South Ferry so we know exactly where to look. Let's hear that poem again, to the light. The one that talks about where Double T's going and what he has to do. Okay. My corner's grown into a jail lined with cold, thick cement. And so I bang and I bust and I break my way free. Being myself toward a light at the long tunnel's end Lay a flame near sacred names. Lonely letters by the sea cry out to me. A message from Ghost Rider! March 20th, 1968. Dear Mom, I'd give just about anything for a hot bath, some clean clothes, and a cold drink of good old New York City water. All right, Dan. Ray must be reading a letter that Double T's writing to his mother. Right. He's homeless, so maybe he wants a hot bath and some clean clothes. He wants to drink a good old New York City water. Well, if Double T misses New York City water, then he must have left town. Uh oh, the letters are starting to move. What's that? Looks like the end of a letter. Love, Ray. Well, this can't be a letter written by Double T. Got it. I know what Chu Lai means. It's a place in Vietnam. I have an aunt there. And this is the abbreviation of sergeant, like in the army. It must be a letter written by a soldier, one of Double T's army buddies. He could be reading it. Or it could just be in his pocket. Maybe that's a lonely letter by the sea Double T wrote about. The soldier misses what he's used to in New York, at home with his mom. Do you have a world map or an atlas? Uh-uh, but I've got... That must be where he meant when he wrote lonely letters by the sea. This is important. Double T was a soldier in Vietnam. He writes about Vietnam in some of his poems. And this letter is from a soldier in Vietnam. Yeah. Somehow, Vietnam must be connected to where Double T went and why he went there. going to see either of my parents again, and that I'm probably going to starve to death in this abandoned tunnel, I'm fine. Who 
get out of here. Somehow.